I always say that like adults, like the black hole, it's like you have to move faster than the speed of light to get out. Otherwise, the force of gravity just pulls you back in and you like got out like and that is something it's not a success story for everybody. And a lot of people have tried. So first of all, it's 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 really impressive your career. Do you know, like, could you say maybe why you feel like you've been able to transcend that or is it? <laughs> A mystery to you too. Uh, I mean, partly it's a mystery, mm-hmm. obviously, because I set out with goals of what I wanted to do, and yeah. I thought I would be in the industry a long time. Yeah, a long like for me, it was a life. Right. That's how I thought of it, and that's how I imagined it and planned it. Um, but I think when I when I try to reflect on it, I think one of the biggest things is that I was always doing something else. So I always had other interests. It wasn't the one thing that I relied on. Right. Uh, maybe economically for a while in the yeah. beginning, but I was always doing other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was always writing and I developed sort of this special relationship with my fans early on. Something that like can't, and I said this a long time ago, I remember saying this a long time ago, I know I can't sustain that forever. Meaning you can't sustain that like sort of intimate online relationship with fans, whatever that means and whatever that is. Right. But I really did. I spent a lot of time like answering fan mail on Mm -hmm. social media Mm -hmm. and writing blogs and doing all of these things that where I was very interactive with my fan base. Uh, So they, they knew me for porn, but they also knew me for all of these other interests I had. Right. So I think that, I don't know, maybe it gave me a more balls yeah. when it was time to leave to be like, okay, I I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that I have all these other things going on so mm-hmm. I can make something work. And I just went for it. You know, I didn't really plan it. And I, when I left, I actually, I didn't even announce it. It wasn't like a declaration. I'm leaving. I'm done with yeah. you. It just Naturally. sort of happened. Yeah. I think you made a final announcement in like, like a couple of years after yeah. you actually yeah. stopped shooting. Like, I think you stopped shooting in like 2009. Yep. And then you made an announcement like maybe 20, I think just to clear the air. Cause people were like, is she, or yeah, isn't yeah. she? you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. And that's because I was promoting a book and this one journalist in particular during this press tour was like asking very specific questions about the industry or what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I was just like, Whoa. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, for the first time, I found myself unable to answer questions. And also, it didn't feel right mm-hmm. because, like, how can you – it's – I can't comment on something if I'm not there, if I'm not having those conversations with the industry. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're looking to you to be the spokesperson for an industry that you're not really involved in anymore. Exactly. And right. I was like, oh, I guess I never really t- officially announced it because I didn't feel there was a reason to. Right. Um, because it, I don't regret it either. Right. So right. – it just sort of happened, and then I was like, I guess it's time I should make a statement. Yeah. So that- thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.